What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to tell you why I think Dave Ramsey is super overrated. What's up YouTube family? Hey, it's Ben Nader. I'm an entrepreneur. I run a recruiting agency. I also vlog every single day about business, finance, entrepreneurship, pretty much everything in between. And if you like that kind of stuff, you should kindly hit that red subscribe button down below and you will thank me later. All right, guys, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I think Dave Ramsey is super overrated. I know he has a huge following of millions and millions, but I also think those millions and millions of people are super financially illiterate, which is a massive problem to begin with. The second problem I see here is that these millions of followers of Dave Ramsey are taking all of his advice like it's the gospel. Eventually, when you dig in deep, you realize that a lot of his advice is massively overrated and wrong. For example, Dave Ramsey says that you will get, on average, a 12% return on your money invested in the stock market, in bonds, stocks, and mutual funds, and that is just not realistic. Based on all of the research I've done, from the period of anywhere from 1980 to about 2000, yes, people were getting 12% returns on their money. However, today, with the rate of baby boomers retiring, taking all of their money out, cashing out, there are no longer 12% returns on your money. You're lucky if you get anywhere close to half that. The bottom line here is that if you're looking for advice on investing in the stock market, bonds, mutual funds, whatever it might be, you shouldn't take it from Dave Ramsey because he's giving you unrealistic numbers and unrealistic expectations. Now the second reason that I have an issue with Dave Ramsey is that he is an anti-credit card person. And this blows my mind when I think about it for so many reasons. Now, the reason that this bothers me so much is because the problem is with personal responsibility and not the credit card itself. Financial problems begin with the spender, the person who uses the credit card itself, not the card, the plastic, the actual piece itself, which Dave Ramsey says to literally cut up with scissors, which is ridiculous. If you're using credit cards properly, you are totally fine. In fact, if you're using credit cards the most efficient way, using points cards, cash back cards, and other things, you're actually benefiting, especially by growing your credit score. And beyond that, he's actually pro-cash. He literally promotes that people roll around with envelopes of cash, either at their home or when they go out to use for specific different things like entertainment, food, bills, etc. That is a ridiculous idea, Dave. Using credit cards the right way, I personally have about seven cards in my wallet that have enough points to give me about 12 free first class domestic flights every single year. That's not even scratching the surface as to why credit cards are important. Credit cards build your credit. Every time you pay a utility bill, a cell phone bill, that goes and gets reported to the credit card bureaus. And each time that they see you making on-time payments with a card electronically, your credit score goes up. So please, stop cutting up your credit cards. Just get the right credit cards and use them in the right way. One thing Dave Ramsey says that really annoys me is that a thousand dollar emergency fund is enough. I think this is terrible advice. A thousand dollars is not nearly enough for an emergency fund. You need to have anywhere from three to six months stowed away for an emergency. That includes all living expenses, food, rent, everything that you need to live for three to six months. So a thousand bucks is not gonna cut it. My next qualm with Dave Ramsey is that when he discusses paying off debt, he talks about utilizing the snowball method, which is essentially paying off your smallest debt first versus your largest debt. Now the issue here is really, really big. 
Yes, your smallest debt might be $200 on a Nordstrom credit card or something like that, that you can knock out like that. However, your largest debt might be a debt that's something like $30,000 with a super high interest rate. You're definitely gonna wanna attack that first before you pay off the Nordstrom credit card debt, which probably has something of a really low interest rate. Bottom line here is that Dave is totally wrong about paying off debt. Pay off the debt that has the highest interest rates first, then pay off the debt that is the smallest interest rates next. The next thing that bothers me about Dave Ramsey is that he says there is no such thing as good debt. There is 100% reason for having good debt. Good debt means things like investments in businesses, like taking out a huge loan so that you can operate a business that will cash flow money for you. If you never took out that loan or debt, as he would put it, you would never open that business, therefore you would never cash flow profits. Therefore, yes, there is good debt. Now, simply put, Dave Ramsey's advice is sort of a one-size-fits-all approach. And that's exactly what the problem is, because there's not a one-size to everyone's financial scenario. The reason that Dave Ramsey is so popular and has millions of followers is because most people are financially illiterate. Therefore, his one-size approach does follow core tenets that people can understand in a very, very simple manner, like a kindergarten financial level, like save X amount, use X amount, and credit cards are bad, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, if you are a thriving person that is growing your wealth and you want to grow legacy wealth, Dave Ramsey is not who you want to be listening to. It should also be understood that Dave Ramsey is extremely wealthy himself. He's made his living off of exactly what he does, writing books and doing his podcast show about all of these financial guru tips and whatnot. And yes, for the masses, they do fit all their sizes because they don't know what they're doing. But if you do have an inkling as to what you want to do with your money and an inkling as to how things actually work, Dave Ramsey's definitely not your guy. Now listen, I titled this video an unpopular opinion because I know that so many people will disagree with me and you can leave all those comments in the comment section. I'd be happy to talk with you and kind of understand your opinion about Dave Ramsey, but I come from a mindset of abundance, that there's enough to go around and expansion and growth. And Dave Ramsey doesn't really settle with that. He settles with the idea of getting people straight, getting people settled where they are so that they can at least exist. I wanna thrive, not just exist. Therefore, I definitely don't agree with Dave Ramsey's concepts. If you were to ask anyone who's extremely wealthy, I mean wildly wealthy and made tons of money in business or any other fashion, the deal is they would tell you that Dave Ramsey is laughable. And it's true because ultimately he's just someone there to sort of guide someone and say, hey, don't spend your money on that. You should spend it on this. But he doesn't go any deeper than that. And that's basically why I have a super unpopular opinion about Dave Ramsey. If you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button as well as hit the subscribe button and the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a new video. Until then.